Hello my dear students, welcome back to this interesting module of integration by substitution where we are discussing the entrance part of it. We have already seen some very interesting entrance questions. Let us see some more. Now here, a very important question, a very interesting question asked at the national level also. It says integral 1 upon x square into x raised to 4 plus 1 raised to 3 by 4 dx is equal to how much? Now my dear students, you may recall or you may think or you may wonder have we solved any question like this earlier and the answer probably is no and you may wonder then how am I supposed to crack this. My dear students as I told you in the very beginning of entrance part that you should not just read the question you should go through the options also. There is always a hint in the options at least in the difficult questions. So let us see that hint. Do we have any hint here? Now, as I scan through these options, I understand that every option has 1 upon x raised to 4. So, it has to do something with the answer, right? Every option is 1 upon x raised to 4. So, now my question is, can I write the integral also in terms of 1 upon x raised to 4? Yes, I can do that. If I take x raised to 4 common from the bracket, there is only one term in x raised to 4, which is with plus 1 and raised to the power 3 by 4. So, I will take x raised to 4 common from there. So, let us write that step. x square can I write it as it is? I will put, put a square bracket and take x raised to 4 common. So, we will get x raised to 4 into bracket 1 plus 1 upon x raised to 4 the entire thing raised to 3 by 4. Fine enough. Now, you can see we have something similar to the question with us. Uh, something similar to the options with us. Now, let us proceed further. Now, can I say that this is what we had? We need to simplify this. x square will be as it is. Now, my students, x raised to 4, the raised to 3 by 4, can I say this x cube? So, let me write here x cube. 1 upon x raised to 4, can I say is x raised to minus 4. So, we will have 1 plus x raised to minus 4, the whole raised to 3 by 4 dx. Now, my dear students, x square into x cube in the denominator multiplied. So, can I say it is x raised to 5 which if I shift to the numerator is x raised to minus 5. So, we will get x raised to minus 5 upon 1 plus x raised to minus 4 raised to 3 by 4 dx. Can I rewrite this as 1 plus x raised to minus 4 into raised to minus 3 by 4 into x raised to minus 5 dx. Now, as a student, I should understand now we have some function raised to some radical power 3 by 4, right? we should adjust its derivative or that should be the one who is creating trouble. So, we should substitute. So, let us check if the derivative can be adjusted. So, it is 1 plus x raised to minus 4 which on differentiating gives me minus 4 x raised to minus 5. My dear students, we have x raised to minus 5. What we do not have is a minus 4 but that is fairly easy for us. We will multiply divide by minus 4. Is that okay? Now, can I say the integral is in the form of f of x raised to n into f dash of x? Is that okay? f of x raised to n into f dash of x is there and by the shortcut we know it is nothing but f of x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 4. So, can I say that minus 1 by 4 outside? Is that okay? And then we have 1 plus x raised to minus 4 the whole raised to 1 by 4 in this case because minus 3 by 4 plus 1 is 1 by 4 divided by 1 by 4 plus c. Can I say 1 by 4, 1 by 4 will get cancelled? Okay. Now, let us see the options. If you see the options, you very well understand the correct answer is option B. Is that okay? A difficult sum could be easily simplified or solved if I look at the options. Okay. Now, let us see the next question. You may wonder that this we have just solved some minutes back. Why are we seeing it again? Let us see it in a different format. Let us see if we can find the three wrong answers. The three wrong answers means the fourth is the right answer. Now, my dear students, it could be simply solved in this manner. As I said, my dear students, we have a function raised to a radical sign 3 by 4. That is fourth root is present. Is that okay? So, fourth root is present in the denominator because of which the sign inside that bracket cannot change. It has to be a plus only even in the final answer. So, can I say inside the bracket that should be a plus and that condition is satisfied only in two options, option A and option B. So, effectively C and D are not the right answers. 
So we are already down to only two options, either of them being the answer. Now how do I eliminate one more option? Now my dear students, whenever we integrate a function, okay, whenever we integrate a function, the exponent changes on integration, correct? So in this case, can I say 3 by 4 also cannot be the answer? And therefore, we are left with only one option. Obviously, that has to be our answer and therefore, the answer is option B. A much simpler and much sensible way of solving the same question. That's all we have in this module. Thank you very much.